Hi everyone, my name is Grammar Girl and I'm here to teach you how to find the subject in a sentence. If you stick with me, you'll learn the ways to becoming a grammar pro. Do you know what a subject is? A subject is a noun or pronoun that performs the action of the verb. Where is a subject normally found? A subject is normally found before the verb in a sentence. Let's say you're walking. Or if that's a slight jog. Let's say you're saying she ran. Well, she ran. Ran is the verb in because a subject is normally found before the verb that means she is the subject! Woohoo! Go grammar girl! A subject is never, ever found in a prepositional phrase. So stick that in your grammar head because you'll never find a subject in a prepositional phrase. There is one, two, three, four steps to finding a subject. Oh, hi, I'm here. Grandma Curl reporting live with Roger and Penelope. And it says, Penelope and Roger climbed the tree. First step is to find the verb, according to the grandman, and look to the left of it for the subject of the sentence. Stay focused. Let's find our verb. Beep, 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 whoop. Climbed is our verb. The most important thing to do after that is to look to the left of the verb. Not this way, but this way. Penelope and Roger. The next step we want to do is cross out any prepositional phrases. So, let's take a glance. Do we see any prep phrases? There are no prepositional phrases in this sentence. Just making sure you're staying focused. Wahoo! The third thing you want to do is you want to see what nouns or pronouns are to the left of the verb. And you're walking over here. Hey. Ask yourself whether that noun or pronoun provides the action of the verb, except in this case, we don't have one noun, we have two. Which it is completely, positively, absolutely possible. Subjects of the sentence. So, congratulations, Penelope and Raj, for climbing the tree, and you know, you're our subjects. See, grammar can be fun. Woohoo! There are six exceptions to finding a subject in a sentence. Now, normally a subject is found to the left of the verb. If they're exceptions, that means that we're going to be finding them in other mysterious places. Remember, grammar is fun. According to my gram radar, it's telling me that the six exceptions are somewhere. Gram girl reporting right here from the Long Island Sound. Whew. Yeah! Let's go find the approach! According to my gram radar, I can sense another one in another body of water. And bam! There's another one! Intervening phrases! Wow! Let's go find the approach!
Oh, I almost passed it. My gram radar was leading me in the wrong direction. Oh, this one command was hiding right here on the grill. Sentences beginning with here or there. Come on, gram team. And remember, grammar is always fun. Reporting live in a grammar rainstorm. Just making sure I got your attention. According to my gram radar, it says that it's in that bush right there. Let's go. Sure enough, it's an inverted sentence. Just making sure I have your attention. Questions! Now, we wonder why it happens to be with this wonderful lady right here. This one exception always stays very close to her. They're like two magnets, yes. So, remember, grammar is fun! Woohoo! I'm your grand girl, grand girl, you know